Okay, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do uh, listener questions. So, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Our first one is from Big Ronnie's D92. That's Big Ronnie. Big Ronnie? Is that how you say that? Yeah, Big Ronnie uh, D92. Oh, man, my eyes are... Okay, sorry. He's blind. He's getting old. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay. What are your favorite three RPGs besides the Soul series? When did you start making repros, and where did you learn to make repros? Uh... I started making repros, um, I learned, I, t I taught myself, but I had to get some help. I went on uh, Nintendo H, posted a thing, asking for help, I did a lot of, I, I searched for hours and hours uh, looking for how to do it, and I ended up finding pretty much nothing. I found a couple things, and I couldn't get my questions answered, and I didn't understand that certain ROMs went with certain boards certain donor carts. Finally, I found some people that answered my questions and they helped me out over at Nintendo Age. And I started just learning bit by bit. I found, you know, wire sheets. They, they have so much information over there and so many people will help you. Of course, then I also ran into the, um, the naysayers who think that repro making is evil. And, yeah, those guys are unbelievable. It, I notice on Nintendo Age the topic can be about Anything, if someone brings up a, a reproduction, they always jump in talking about how they're evil and the ru they're ruining gaming, even though gaming seems to be just fine. So, Multi-billion dollar industry. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Gaming's fine. Retro gaming collecting's fine. Well, it's about as fine as it's ever going to be. Because it's not repros that are making things go up. Things are just going up. Because and they're going up. Little Samson's not getting any easier to find. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, my three favorite games, or is it RPGs? Three RPGs. RPGs. Uh, my favorite RPG besides the Souls games is Legend of Dragoon. Used to be my favorite game of all time. Now it's my not so. Now it's my fourth favorite game of all time. Um, another one of my favorite game. It's it's the Earthbound, the Mother series. Um, I don't. I tend to like the first Mother better than the other two. But I also like second one, the one we got, and I also like the third one. I like all three. So I'm just going to say Mother Series is one. And um, the third one I'd have to say is Final Fantasy IX. So those are my favorite RPGs. Uh, favorite R three. How'd you get into repro making? Oh. <laughs> well, I, to I told you to post videos about repro making. Okay, that's close enough. He, didn't wa he wanted to just do normal videos, and I was like, nobody's doing this. You need to do that. Um, no, fa favorite three RPGs, uh, you're gonna roll your eyes, one of my favorites of all time is... Kingdom Hearts. Well, that's not, I mean, that's kind of an RPG, I guess it's more action adventure, but... No, my, one okay, of my... pissed me off. Yeah, he, he got, he got only into, like, one world, the first world that he would... Pissed me off. Every time, I'm trying to find shit, and they're just, they keep respawning, and I'm like, you know, all right, I do? No, but let's see, go kill him again, it's nothing, right. it's, but remember, it's I didn't, repetitive. I didn't, yeah, but I didn't get Demon Souls until you sit me down and, like, here's how you play. So, okay, we probably need to do fair enough. More, well, I finish, like, three worlds, you watch, you know what I mean, and kind of get right. a feel for he's it. he's going to play it, and then I'll let, we'll, we'll let you guys know how it goes when we get a chance to sit down and and play the game. Right. Uh, but I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's kind of a role-playing game, but I wouldn't I wouldn't go with that. Um, no, one of my favorite RPGs of all time is, uh, he's going to roll his eyes, Pokemon Gold and Silver, Gen 2. It's, oh man. There I did it. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I remember actually, uh, I remember actually, stupid little animals, I just want to kick them like little soccer balls. Yeah. Not, not that there are any animals on like Dragon Quest or anything like that. There are, but you don't. Yeah. You, you don't. They don't fight with you. No. Well, there's a there's a them. there's a there's a version where they do, but that's not really. The point. Isn't that Dragon Quest Monsters? Yeah, I never played that. Yeah, it's pretty fun. But anyway, I just I spent hours on this game. I'll never forget. Actually, I got to play it before it even came out. I had a buddy whose uh, his parents were from Japan, and they uh, his aunt or would ship him all these games like months before they came out. So I got to play. Uh, it was in Japanese, but I got to play. <laughs> The end part to Silver Warrior in the Ice Cavern. I got to do that and I actually helped him get out of the Ice Cavern and <clears throat> stuck. So the two problem with that is that you, the problem with playing RPGs in another language. Oh God! It's because it's a story based game. Yeah, it's, it's, it sucks. It's I mean it's Pokemon, so it's got the the basics are there, but yeah, it's really tough, especially when you need to go get something or find something to move along a path or advance. You, you have to make up your own story. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. But that was really cool. That that's one of my all time favorites. Uh, another one. 
Not a big favorite for everybody else, but I love it. Um, Final Fantasy, I'd, I'd say it's a tie between Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy XII. A lot of people, you know... People love ten. People like ten. Twelve, though, people Twelve don't. is the is the PS2 um, 8. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah, pretty much, and I like yeah. 8 a lot, too. But, yeah, 12, I loved the... And if you look where, like, Xenogears is at, that's where all these RPGs are going, or the next... Uh, it was versus 13, but it's going to become 15 because they took so long to make it. <laughs> but uh, all these battle systems... It looks real modern, 15. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I like the look of 14. I do, too. I just don't want to pay money to play a game like that. A, a relic, I, I'll pay to buy the game. Four, honestly, 14-2 is the best... Or, uh, sorry, 13-2, excuse me, is uh, what you need to uh, get into. It's got it's like Chrono Trigger. It's got these multiple I recently baths. got I recently got 13. Yeah. And I haven't had a chance to sit down and play it. Yep. And I hear, and then I'm hearing after it's okay. I buy it that the game is pretty much you don't do anything in the game. You're just watching the battles go through. Not really. I, I mean, don't that's, know. That's that's not fair. But I'm gonna it, have to try. It. It's it's more linear than people wanted it to be. But the second one more than makes up for it. The problem is you got to play the first one. Play I, the second. I don't one. mind linear though. Yeah, I don't either. Sometimes, um, see, it's funny. The Souls games are very linear in a way. Kind of. But they're linear as far as having to. Beat the bosses. Right, but they're not the linear as part. far as I mean. You, there's you could go to you could go yeah. fight a certain boss and then instead of another one and come back. You can, and, and you can also, but there's some areas you can't get into until you beat sure. another. Or and there's a lot boss. of areas you could fight them, yeah, but you're not going to win. You're going to have yeah. to go level up, so you might as well do this and then go do this instead of go right. straight to the big boss. It's it's more linear than people like Demon Souls. On the other hand, wasn't. No, that was you kind of could you go, could all go around in, in any that. any yeah. direction because like. Level five, the area five, the Valley of Defilement, isn't that hard. It, you could, I'd beat that at level twenty one. And it, it's one of those things where I think we kind of we were talking, we kind of lost it because Demon Souls doesn't hold your hand at all. It doesn't really tell you where to no. go. You don't understand the, the the aura, the dark aura and light aura, and any of that. You know? Oh, the world tendency. Yeah, yeah. Dark you know? light. And he had to explain it black. to me. You know what I mean? But that's how games used to be. You have to. Yeah. People would play like, okay, here, here's how you go get the whistle in Mario three, unless you saw the wizard, but you know, stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. But yeah, 12, that, that, I think that's where a lot of RPGs are, are going with their battle system, and it all started in that little game. It wasn't refined yet, which is why I think people were kind of down on it. And the main character, Vaughn, is not my favorite as far as Final Fantasy main characters, but all the cast, like Balthier, you know, the Space Pirates and all that, was very cool. So I loved that. Um, for a third one, and third favorite RPG of all time... I, I'm, I'm in the middle of it right now, but I uh, probably Chrono Trigger. It's just it's really good. I just I played that. It'd be I, higher on my list if I if I finished it, but I haven't finished it yet. I, I played it recently, and I wasn't impressed. Really? No, I I, I love the multiple endings. And I stuff. didn't dislike it, but right. I just I got to the I got to the final boss. The final boss is like an hour long boss. Battle. Yeah, it's it's tough. And I I got it, and I was playing about thirty minutes in, and I I was tired. I wanted to go to bed. And I was thinking of my the next day. I just had no desire to play it. I haven't had any desire to play it since. That's funny. And I'm just like, I don't even want to play that. It was just well, maybe what we'll, is the point of having fighting every boss over again? So that maybe that'll be it made another, no sense. Maybe that'll be another let's play. You can hear him complain in the background. And watch me play Chrono Trigger because I need to skippy. I need to finish it. Yeah, but, I'm I mean skippy. that's that's how much I like it. Is it's third and I haven't even finished the game yet. Because I mean I didn't have. You know, I didn't have Super Nintendo growing up. I didn't play any of those games until way later. What are you playing? Uh, what system are you playing? The PS One version or the, uh, the SNES version on the ROM? I'm, on playing, the ROM? I'm playing it on my Wii, my hacked Wii. <laughs> yeah, I, I played it on my PS Three, and it moved really fast. Because I guess people were saying on the PS One, it moves really. The cutscenes, um, it moves real slow. Really? The, like the loading screens. Okay. But on the PS3, it just zipped right I mean, I, I didn't notice that on the ROM for the SNES, but it's, you know, cartridge. Well, the, CNES, the, the Super Nintendo version moves fast. Right. It's the PS1 version right. that doesn't move fast. But if on the PS3, it loads so much faster, you don't notice. Sure. Oh, man. The load t some of the load times in the old PS1 games, I mean, we're spoiled now. They used to sit there. Oh, yeah. If, if you want to test real load time, if you want to, you know, test your patience, uh, check out the Neo Geo CD and then mm -hmm. try out like King of Fighters. You have to load in between every screen. You can like go with like, like microwave lunch. Yeah, and it had a really cheap uh, CD loader in it, so it's really bad. It's some of the most embarrassing load times in gaming, which is too bad because it's like one of the few affordable Neo Geo systems. Yeah. So uh, what's next? What's next here? It's uh, HCBJ, right? HCBJ. Yeah, right. So what are top? What are your top three scariest video game moments? 
moments that made you want to actually poop yourself. I can't think of anything that actually made me want to poop myself. I'd say the, the, the PT, uh, the, the thing, the Silent Hills thing was pretty good. It scared the crap out of me in the, uh, when the, the, the jump scare that everybody sees. The first time it got me, I, I fell back, you know, and put the controller up on my face. That's one of them. I would say that um, I never had any others that made me, like, well, not poop myself, but, you know, um, playing Eternal Darkness the first time. Yeah, that would be on my list. A couple, I'd say a couple of those uh, got me pretty good. Uh, you know, like when the woman's, have you seen the part where the woman's hanging in the living yes. room? And then all of a sudden she like looks at you and you're like, oh, get away from just me. Just the, the sanity meter on that would freak me out because your guy would slowly just start to go nuts. And just yeah, there's just mind. some freaky stuff I, in there. I thought that I, I thought that was a cool mechanic of gameplay. Not really, Love that, that really, game. Yeah, that really messed with it too much since then. But that, that, should, that needs an HD remake, I think. Because the graphics like are a bit see, dated, yeah. but it's just, I loved like the whole generational story. You know, I love it. I love that game. I, and I'm not, he'll fun. tell you, I'm not a horror guy, but I love that yeah. game. Um, Silent Hill 2, the whole atmosphere of the whole game was creepy. But also, like in Silent Hill Homecoming, when you first see Pyramid Head, that's kind of creepy. Because he's walking by this hallway, and he stops, and then he looks at you. And he looks right at you, and you're kind of hiding. And he looks right at you, he knows you're there. And then he looks away, and then just keeps going. That's kind of creepy. Just Pyramid Head alone is creepy. Um, as far as like Silent Hill, um, the Silent Hill games just had a creepy feel to them. I remember uh, the first time I played Silent Hill One. In the very beginning, you're you're trying to you're following your daughter, trying to find her, and you walk into this rusty bathroom or something, and these little monsters with knives start stabbing you in the leg, and you can't do anything, and it's kind of freaked me out the first time because I had the lights off. I always play with the lights off. To scare myself <laughs> but nothing to like really poop myself so much but yeah those are the, like the scariest out of all of them it's hard to find a really good scary game because Resident Evil's never been scary it's good but it's not scary um, you know and then like Eternal Darkness had some scary moments that game I really enjoyed and then yeah it's just I would like to find a really good scary game but it's hard We'll see how uh, this whole Silent Hills comes out. Some of the newer next generation stuff. So, okay. what about you? yeah, you don't really have it. No, I mean Eternal Darkness <laughs> is up there for me. That's really all I can. That's all I can think of as far as horror games. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Michael Juarez. As the years go on and you get older, do you feel like you're moving on from collecting video games? Have you gotten to the point where you have really all that you want to have? Uh, let's see. You know, do you have got to the point where you want to stop going to flea markets, yard sales, Craigslist, etc.? Um, no, I mean, yes, yes and no, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I was looking at an apartment actually to rent a few weeks ago, and I was looking at all my games and comics and stuff, and I was like, God, I don't know where I'm gonna put all this stuff. I gotta move all this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But at the at the same time, that stuff kind of is a part of me. Um, you know, I, I like owning all of it still. I. I uh, I just don't have enough time to play as much as I want to, but I still like owning all of it. But I, I, I definitely uh, see where you're coming from. It's, it's nice to save on space, and it's, it's definitely nice to have it all downloaded and just be able to click of a button. Um, I get, I, I'm, I'm a little tired of going to swap meets and Craigslist because I never find anything out here. If I would, I used to find stuff at the swap meets every time I go, but now. Every time I go now, it's it's either too expensive or I just can't find anything. If it got to where I could find stuff again, I would be out there all the time looking. Because I used to do that all the time, and I had so much fun. And it's fun to pick up all these games and systems and all these things, but now it's just not worth it because you spend more in gas than what you find. I found Earthbound for 6 bucks at uh, Selma Swap Meet. Wow. Great yeah. deal. And that day it was worth 300 because yeah. that's what they were going for that day. Not anymore since the digital release came out. Good. Now it's down to like 150 but still it's still ridiculous. Pretty good. I, mean, I, yeah. I don't have any problem paying the you know, retail of like 80 bucks is what it, what it cost when it first came out. But I, anything up, up ahead of that I think is a little steep. 
I used to hit Craigslist every day, multiple times a day to find deals. One time I found, within 10 minutes I called of the, the ad being up, and I, uh, I called on a Ninja Gaiden Trilogy for $8. Right on. And some other games, and they didn't, they had already sold it. Yeah. It, they, it, someone beat me to it. And See, that's that's part of the thing too. That's that's why we kind of you know we found stuff for a while there, but then you just get to the point where you've kind of you've kind of uh, kind of plucked every every feather you can get. Yeah. You know, uh, I'll, I'll check Craigslist every now and then just because every now and then you will see a rare item. Like a guy had a, a Neo Geo uh, arcade machine, and I was like, and he only wanted two hundred bucks for it, which isn't bad at all, you know. But that 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 went real quick. But stuff like that, you do find it, but it's few and far between. I think it's more fun just to see what people are selling, honestly. So that's why I always look. I like to see yeah. what see what they're asking for. I'm like this isn't worth this, or man, that's a good deal, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I nowadays I do a lot. Like I'll trade with the with you guys on the show, and that that's a good way to get games that I want. I found some de decent stuff that way, and um, you know things like that. Just trying to find people, whoever you know, that I meet online things like that or people that I know in real life and sometimes I just find stuff that way right and like, like a lot of the things you were saying you know we'll go over to the swap meet over here and a guy will want you know 30 bucks for like Madden 07 and you're like I'm not paying yeah for that. yeah they do crazy stuff you know or they'll get on the, what I love is you know probably like Pat the NES Punk talks about this all the time on, on his uh, swap meet thing but they'll get on their phone and check you know eBay prices and you're like, no we're at the swap meet you don't get to charge me eBay prices they did that them. to Freddie and I we said how much for these N64 games and they said three bucks a piece right and, and we start grabbing because right. they had they had Smash Brothers sure. and Mario 64. They had all this stuff we wanted. We were going to buy it for us. We weren't going to buy it to resell it. It was games we wanted. Sure. And we started grabbing them. And then he starts looking at his phone. He's like, oh, wait. Those are... I got to check the prices. And I said, no. Yeah. I said, I'm not buying from you. You said they were three bucks. That's... That's oh, what people uh, don't get. Don't, they start, you, know, you know, they don't. They don't get. I mean, if we wanted to pay eBay prices because we want this specific game, we'll go and buy it because you yeah, want I'll the game. Yeah, I'll go to eBay. But we're going there. You know, I mean, you sh you want to do a bulk deal with me? You know, maybe I've got a twenty dollar game, but you know what? Maybe I'm going to buy six three dollar games. So maybe you make a bundle with me. Stuff like that. Yeah, they don't. They don't think about that. No, they don't. I had that woman. I said, hey, I she had a bunch of Nintendo games, and they were two to three dollar games. Right. You have to. And I said, hey, how many do I need to get to get $2 a piece? And she has me pick out, like, I pick out, like, 50, or what was it, 18 games. And I had a $100 bill on me. If she would have said 50 games, I would have picked out 50 games. I just needed to know. And then she wanted to charge me three, three bucks for three of them. Yeah. For no. just, I was like, no. I, so for three, $3, basically, she gave up that whole sale because I walked away. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and she, and she was going to get a hundred dollar bill, you know. That's you no, know, not at first. I mean, she was going to get like forty bucks, right? But, but I, whatever. Still, I mean, how stupid can you be? You're going to lose forty dollars over three dollars, you know. Yeah, cut, cut off your nose to spite the face. A lot it's of these guys. Very stupid. Some of the I don't get the whole. I don't get their their line of thinking. So I I think this is a theory I have. If they sold everything, they'd have to actually go out. And find more stuff. Yeah, they don't want to. And it's too much work. No, nope, it's just easier just the, to sell. Keep one the little thing inventory they've got. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I, I see a lot stupid. of that too. We get that at work. It was one of the new guys. You know, I sell furniture, appliances, stuff like that. Somebody wanted to take instead of having us deliver it. They wanted to take it that day. We're the only ones there to load it. The guy didn't want to sell it to him. I'm like, sell it to him. We'll load him up. You know, just laziness is a lot of it. Yeah. The um, whole business of. Going out to the swap meet or hat working in a place is to make money. Yeah. Well, and to build a rapport because, I mean, this is a small place we live in. We'd be back. Yeah. You know yeah definitely. I mean? we, 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 we'd work deals. That so. was my main thing at my shop. Yeah, absolutely. Was to build a rapport That's with why people. We're, we're still friends. Yeah, I, I was real big on keeping people. I screwed up and didn't order this guy's I ordered this guy's book and I accidentally sold it to somebody. And he came in and... I said, okay, I'll order another one, and I'll give you this one, and I'll just give it to you for free. And he says, oh, okay, great. He was happy. And I said, yeah, I said, it's my responsibility. I messed up. He says, I said, you know, there's a possibility that if I try to charge you for my mistake, you're not going to come back. And he says, I probably wouldn't have if you hadn't have done that. Right, exactly. And I said, yeah, because it's 
the sellers need to take responsibility. Yeah, owning up for your actions is a big part of it too. You know, oh, yeah. the guy doesn't want to own up that he didn't price the game at twenty dollars, and he already told me it was three dollars a piece. Stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know? Yeah, it's like because that is part of it. It's like, don't put your... it out there unless you're, and don't tell me a price unless you're going to stick to it. Yeah, you need to honor. You need to keep customers. You need to honor them, make people happy. Yeah. It's what it's all about. It's it's all about keeping the flow going. Yeah. You don't want to put a you don't want to put a, a you know a brick in there and stop the stream. You want to keep you want to keep everything going. The worst thing is it, is when they charge like three and then you get pissed because they try to change they try to look it up and you're like buy. <laughs> then they look it up and find out it's worth like four. Yeah. And it's like then then no one comes by to buy them that day. Yeah. And they sit on them. Cut off their nose, bite their face. It does, yeah. And about. that's exactly what they're doing. But. You know, I, I haven't got to the point where I, I don't want to collect or anything. I, I definitely got to the point where I'm getting less just because I have more. It's because we're broke. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we have no money. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's limited, too, because I've, I've got a pretty good library, especially when you figure out emulation and stuff that you can play. There's a lot of stuff I can go play now. It's not like when I was a kid and I had three games and that's all you could choose from, you know, and yeah. you played them over and over again. This Anything I want to try out, you know, I, I can pretty much get access to because you're an adult, you know. So there's 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 plenty of stuff I can I can try out. No, I'm not, I'm not done collecting, but I'm I'm definitely have cut back. Plus the beauty is you know gamers and we swap all yeah, the time. Yeah, exactly. You know, hey, Star Star Ocean sitting over there. You know, I'll try out Star Ocean or try this out. I still have your Spacing Spider Man game. Yeah. You have what? You have my Metroid. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Good game. Something else, I think. I've probably got, I've got a stack of two or three things that are yours. Yeah. Look at what they are. I mean, we don't care. You know. Yeah, we don't even think about it. If we think about the game, I just start calling everybody I know, which sure, is like, like three people. Yeah. My favorite, do you have this? No, I don't have that. Okay, I'll call Freddy. <laughs> yeah, it's Freddy, you I got do. this. Oh, Freddy's got it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do, that's too. Kind of I, what, I forget who has it. You know, that, that's kind of what we do. We we help each other out. Yeah, that's that's the best part about it is you, that, know, you get friends that you know that that play. I mean, yeah, every now and then you'll get you know a game that all three of us have got to have. You know, we've all got to have the new Castlevania. We've all got to have. Whatever. But every now and then, for the most part, it's cool to be able to. Oh, you've got this. I wanted to try that. Yeah, like Freddy's got um, again, he's got Beyond owning two Souls. physical media. Yeah, Freddy's got Beyond Two Souls that I've been wanting to play. He's gonna let me borrow that, and he's got that. Um, I liked it. It was cool. And then he's going to let me borrow know LA, like L.A. Noir. I played the demo and liked it. Did you? And I liked Heavy Rain. It's, yeah. Okay, if you liked Heavy Rain, you'll like it. It's it's more of a kind of a, a, a interactive experience, you know, that you motion experience you play through than a game. But I like it. I like stories. Like That's why I liked Heavy Rain, because yeah. it wasn't really a game I'll so say, much. Should, have you tried uh, The Wolf Among Us? Yeah, I beat it. I love, love it. that. Oh, you finished all the parts already? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I, I got I'm one left. I got one chapter. Yeah, left. I got it on sale for like eight bucks. Right on, on. sale they had. Cool. And I went ahead. I beat all those. Like I beat that like a month ago. I really liked it. That's, that's off of uh, the Fables comic. Mm -hmm. And then I also beat uh, Walking Dead season two the other day. The last episode finally came out. Did we talk about uh, Telltale doing the Game of? They're doing Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. The next one yeah. in the same vein. I think it'll be great. I am so excited about the Game of Thrones. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work. If they're going to follow the actual book more so, if they're going to follow the show, if it's going to follow side characters we don't see much of. How the way they work. do things, I think they're going to follow the book. I think so too. Because don't don't the uh, the Walking Dead didn't that follow the comic more mm -hmm. so than the uh, yeah. Yeah, they followed the comic more than anything. Um, That'll be cool. Although you wonder how far they go, because like Tyrion loses his nose, so I don't, I don't know if they'll go that far, and you'll see a noseless Tyrion walking around. But yeah, we'll see. Um, Tyrion, yeah, he has a lot of problems. Yeah, more so in the book than even in the show. Yeah, he's a tough little guy. But um, I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think so. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the new uh, content. Sure. Tell, um, us, tell us what you want to hear. You know, we'll get do the best we can yeah. to get to it. Give us some suggestions. Uh, we're probably going to be recording audio from now on. But we if, just, you, if you like the video, let us know that too. Yeah, or let us we, know. Maybe we'll do both. We don't know. Yeah, we may mix it up. It yeah. just depends on our schedules. It's because he lives about thirty minutes away, so it's hard to get. It's a lot easier to Skype yeah. and do audio, you know, than to. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to, to do all this. Uh, but it is cool, you know. Maybe once every couple weeks or a month to do. You know, maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'd like to do weekly episodes, but it's scheduling. Yeah. It's all about our schedules. Right. If, if we can do audio, it's easier. But, you know, let, let us know what you guys think. Yeah, if you guys got more questions you want us to answer, if you got a topic you want us to hit, just let us know. So, but anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it for today. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on with our day and stuff we're doing. So, uh, I'm Jason. And I'm Cody. 
And this is another Gamers Podcast, Season 2, Episode 1. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.